Hi everyone, um, I'm back today again to share another junk journal with you and this is another one of my rustic style journals where I've used some thin cardstock that I've tea dyed and I really love the way this cardstock comes out so you, if you can see it has lots of really good patterns the lighting is not very good today it's quite dull here so I'm sorry if you can't see it too well this one measures seven by five it's a one signature and I've punched the corners on the cover and all the papers I also use some book paper and a lovely image that I got from um, Pixabay and then in the corner here I just did a little bit of layering and I finally got myself some cheesecloth <laughs> so I've um, sprayed the seam binding and the cheesecloth with some tattered angels in bronze and I've just put that at the back uh, made a bow with the ribbon and these are a couple of little rosebuds which I think were originally from orchid wild orchid crafts so it just has some organza round there round to to closure to close it and there's quite a bit there so it will allow for expansion I've also inked up the lace with vintage photo so I've left um, the front and inside covers on the front and back plane so whoever gets this can all you know do more to it if they want this will also be listed in my Etsy um, I've also used an ephemera kit from um, Artie Mays, which is called Butterfly Delight, and I've also used an ephemera pack from Tsunami Rose. There's also some other tea dyed scrapbook papers, which this is one of the pieces I think that originally came from Recollections. So here, this is a free printable, and that's um, a tag from Artie Mays, and that's from Tsunami Rose. It's just a tuck spot, a tea dyed doily, a brown paper bag which has also got some inked lace on it and this is another piece from Artie Mays and I've backed most of the tags and journal cards onto um, a nice ledger paper. I've got some quite good doily patterns on my papers in this one that's a flip out done a little bit of stamping and here's a little pocket and that's also from Artie Mays and uh, I just love these mason jars and I just wrapped some embroidery thread around there this is from Tsunami Rose and that's from Tsunami Rose as well This is some blank music sheet paper. Quite a lot of space for journaling, which as you know, I usually do leave a lot of space for people to do what they want with it. Um, this is tea dyed parchment paper. This is another piece that comes with the ephemera um, set from Artie Mays. It's just a little booklet. This is some more blank music sheet paper and I managed to find um, a book of this and every page was blank. Um, from That came from a charity shop so I tea dyed that and that's come up really nice. There's a little pocket here, just a little tag in it and that's a piece from Tsunami Rose. This is an envelope from Artie Mays and that's just a free printable. I also backed this one onto some aged printable paper that comes from Accessory. Here I made a pocket and also added, this is a, a belly band that you actually get with the kit. Um, I did have to cut that down a little bit so I made a tuck place there and that's from 
um, Tsunami Rose. This is uh, a free printable and on this P, uh, this um, tuck spot I actually used some Rub and Buff in Antique Gold. Just another tag and a, another couple of pieces from Artie Mays. This is another little pocket from Artie Mays. You get a nice little journaling card with this. This is just A4 lined paper. That's another piece from Tsunami Rose. And that's a little freebie piece. Here I just made another little pocket and added a sticker that has some glitter on it. That's a freebie. That's Artie Mays. That is Artie Mays as well. Lovely um, mason jars. Another really nice doily pattern. Another paper bag. Um, and this is another journaling card from Artie Mays. This actually does come with some small envelopes, so they do fit into the envelope if you want. And then this page, I did a top a tuck spot. I've just done a torn edge there, and again I've used the cheesecloth, the sprayed seam binding, a little piece of uh, doily and a vintage button and I think this is from the shabby and chic kit which is ephemeris vintage garden that's backed onto tea dyed paper and this is another freebie from the graphics fairy and that's the back so that's the journal um, so I just want to take a moment to just thank all my subscribers who have supported me this year. Um, and thank you for all your wonderful comments. I really, really do appreciate it. it you know, it's really nice to get all those wonderful comments. Um, and I have got another video coming up, but I did make that quite some time ago. That was, um, that's two Christmas journals that I did. And I did share that on the Junk Journal Junkies group. So if you keep an eye out for that one. Um, but anyway, this is, other than that video, this is probably going to be my last video before Christmas. So I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And I hope you have a very happy and peaceful New Year. And I'll definitely be back with some more videos um, next year. So... I um, hope you all have a lovely time over Christmas and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.